Then he says, so you still believe there are seven planets we can see with our naked eye in the firmament? Uh, yeah. I mean, well, I just want to make clear what planet means. They have given a different meaning to it through what they believe nowadays. They believe a planet is a different world. That's how most people see it. However, planet, according to scriptures and according to the word from which it comes in Greek, planetes, means um, wondering. Planetes and aster are the words that appeared in scriptures in Greek as wandering stars. So, there are seven wandering stars that we can see with the naked eye. There are others wandering, well, other wandering stars that can be seen with a telescope. A wandering star is a star that doesn't follow the same trajectory every night. Meaning, well, the regular stars are s stuck in their constellation, in the firmament. And when the firmament moves, all stars move with it. That's why you'll always see the same constellations in the heavens moving above the head. Yet the planets are stars because they look the same. Yet they move differently. They have their own different circuit, which represent the fallen angels. The angels that decided to follow their own way instead of what Yahweh wanted for them. So they became rebellious and then they fit that position that Yahweh had for those who would be <laughs> rebellious. So a planet represents a light, a star that decided to go their own way. A planet looks like a star but moves differently. It, it is not in a constellation like the rest of the stars. So you see him one day in one part of the heavens, then you see the next day in another part. That's why they... Um, like what we saw with Saturn, uh, Saturn and Jupiter not long ago that they got together and it looked like a big star or really like two really close stars. <laughs> the point is planets are wandering stars. That's what it means. In that definition, because it's going to sound weird, but with that definition, which is the true definition really, the sun and the moon is seen as a planet for it is a light in the firmament that has its own movement unlike the stars which are stuck in the constellations so in the the seven congregations which actually i explained that in the chapter two and three of revelation when it comes to the letters of the congregations i explained that there so i'm not going to do it right now but each of the congregations is connected to one of those planets or to one of those lights in the heavens Ephesus, for instance, the first is connected to the moon and has a lot of connections. The planet with the name and what is said to each congregation.